Greetings adventurers, and welcome back to Abnormal Voyages. My name is David, and today we find ourselves in Williams, Arizona, or better known to some people as Bedrock City. We're here today to spend some time with our favorite modern prehistoric family, the Flintstones. So come tag along as we see what kind of hijinks they get up to today. Bedrock City opened in 1972 and is, of course, based on the hometown of the Flintstones, one of the most classic animated families in all of pop culture. Right off the bat, you see the same art style and influence of the legendary cartoon everywhere you look. Though the episodes were structured much like modern day sitcoms, the show takes place in the Stone Age, so it makes sense that a lot of the decorations and art that you see around Bedrock are dinosaurs. You can even spend some time meeting Pebbles and her good friend Bam Bam. It seemed the best way to really show off Bedrock was a quick tour of some of the more notable buildings. This first one here is the Auto and Tire Repair Center, where anybody could pedal their car up and get a brand new stone wheel put right on it. Of course, in the Flintstones, your main propulsion was your feet, but at least you didn't have to worry about any crazy gas prices. And that's much better than making fossil fuel out of your pets. Speaking of dinosaurs, here was a pterodactyl hatching right out of its egg. All the little shards going everywhere as it pops out. Eggs were a very popular food in the Stone Age. As a matter of fact, here we have the local grocery store. Let's see what they got for sale today. Ah, looks like some giant watermelon pieces. You have your pick of eggs there. That would make quite an omelet. Today's special, cactus juice. Ooh, prickly. Oh, and we can't forget over here the Are You Hungry Oysters on the Half Shell. Mmm. And some of the frequent shoppers here, the Flintstones themselves. And then the meat counter. Looks like we have rhinosaurus ribs, hornosaurus ham, and brontosaurus beef. I don't know about you, but all of this looks prehistorically delicious. If you're in the mood for a trim, we have the barber shop. Here we can get your hair cut nice and neat. Very cozy inside. And for convenience, right next door is the beauty shop for the ladies. You can see some of the wonderful styles that they have right now. Got those bones in the hair. Who can resist that? And then once you're done, you sit here and it dries your hair. Get that perm all set. Walking through the streets of Bedrock, you're bound to meet some colorful friends, such as this woolly mammoth, or this huge snake that you could actually crawl in through his mouth and go all the way through the belly, down the tail, until you reached the very end where you came out and felt great because you just climbed through a giant snake. How often do you get a chance to do something like that? Just be careful. Sometimes smaller snakes like to live inside this larger snake. And you simply can't miss this huge brontosaurus that gives you a chance to reenact the opening credits of the Flintstones when Fred gets off of work, hears that whistle blowing, and slides right down the tail eager to get home and eat a nice tasty dinner. 
though it was set in the Stone Age, Bedrock happened to have quite a few of your modern-day necessities taken care of, such as buying anything you need here at the general store. And if you had any letters or packages to be mailed, where else would you go but the post office? A nice big room in here. Plenty of places for people to sit and wait their turn. We have the desk over here. Got some mail sitting, waiting to be delivered. Of course, it was written on tablets because this was the Flintstones. But yeah, very nice, very big post office. It's funny that the post office is bigger than the grocery store, the barber shop, and the beauty shop all put together. <laughs> Here's one place you definitely didn't want to end up in Bedrock City, the Bedrock City Jail. Oh, here's the prison cells. Not very comfy. Though, this one looks like it's got a little more of a tropical flair to it. I guess special criminals get to have themes. And then the guard would hang out out here, sit and listen to his radio. Very nice. Luckily, most citizens of Bedrock are actually very nice. Even this saber-toothed tiger just wants to pose and take a nice picture with you. Much better than trying to eat you. It's always important to take care of your health, and that's just what we do here at the Bedrock City Medical Center. Inside, nice and cozy. I got the giant teeth here. Body chart there, just so you know exactly what it is that you're looking at. A very large framed picture of a bone, because why not? And then we keep going into here, Oh, lots to see in here. We have an entire display case. And if you look, we actually have pictures of Fred himself right there. Well, it's nice to know that if anything happens, you are well taken care of here. Let's see what else we can find. You, of course, can't forget about the school. Let's check this out where Pebbles and Bam Bam would be getting an education. Nice, cozy little school room here. We got some giant pencils over in the corner. I guess they had to make them just out of trees. This is where these kids would sit and the teacher giving her a lesson. But something that I thought was really funny, come outside, they actually have the school bus for the kids right here, where everybody would work together to get you to class on time. On our way, we pass by one of the Bedrock City Fire Department wagons to help put out any fires that may come up. We've now arrived at the residential neighborhood, and of course, first thing we're going to check out is the Flintstones house right over here. Come on inside. We start out here in the living room. They've got a nice bench for everybody to hang out. Got some decorations going, a fireplace for those cold prehistoric nights. Then through here, we have the kitchen and dining room, one of Fred's favorite rooms. Fully stocked pantry over here, lots of seafood going on. We even have some milk bones ready for Dino. Table to eat and Pebbles high chair. Can't forget about Pebbles. And in this green room, this is Fred and Wilma's bedroom. Nicely decorated with animal print everywhere. Very cozy, very comfy. Not a bad house. But you know what? Let's go see what Barney's up to. All right, let's see if Barney's home. Doesn't look like the rebels are here right now, but I'm sure they won't mind if we take a peek. Wow, this is actually pretty fancy. Got home sweet home up here. They have their TV, if you look right over here, the nice yellow one. Plenty of spacious seating. Barney likes guests, so that makes sense. Big entertainer. And we have our kitchen set in here. This is where Betty would be frying up food for everyone. That's a big pan. And a fully stocked pantry, of course. Very, very important. And let's check out the bedroom right over here. Whoa! It looks like maybe they're doing some redecorating. That's probably where they are now, I'm buying some new furniture. Hopefully nobody took their bed. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here before they get home. Rounding out the neighborhood, we have the house of Sergeant Boulder, one of Bedrock City's finest. Not 
nothing too crazy, but he's got a nice fireplace. Got his radio here. Then we got his TV even set up in the corner. Let's look at this room over here. Oh, fancy. He's got a stove. I think they put a little dinosaur in there that can breathe fire. So we got their table. And of course, the bedroom. Animal print is very in this season, as you can tell. You know, it's interesting. This wooden one here almost looks like a toilet, but I hope that's not what it's used for, because I just touched it. Uh, yeah. Let's go see what else is in Bedrock. If you get hungry while exploring the city, you can stop by Fred's Diner to grab yourself a delicious Bronto burger. And then on the outskirts of town, surrounded by these huge bones stuck in the ground, you had a volcano. Luckily, not active at the moment, so there wasn't any real lava flying through the air, but it was certainly really cool to look at. If you get to the inside portion, they even had some displays for you to check out. Nothing that was in particularly from the show, but very interesting, very unique, and worth the little walk over here to see it. Overall, Bedrock was beautiful. Well, we had quite the yabba dabba do good time here at Bedrock, but it's time to head out to the next adventure. My name's been David, this has been Abnormal Voyages. We'll see you in the next one.